Hey guys, this is just a video showing the testing of these uh, Dwyer pressure sensors that I'm selling. Uh, this unit measures from zero to three inches of water column. And uh, here's the test stand that I've made to test these. As you can see, there is a tube going down with a uh, valve to drain the water. And then uh, up here, we have a tube that leads to a T with a valve that when we open this, well, it's already open. Uh, when we open that, the level of the water in these two tubes will equalize. And uh, that'll mean that the black tube is leading to the high pressure side of the sensor will be at atmospheric pressure just like the low low pressure input. So I can take this water and close this and we can see that right now the water level is at zero inches and if I take this water and start filling up the tube and go up to not quite three inches as you can see the water level is different so there's three inches of water column pressure in this tube that's being fed into the high pressure port of this sensor. Now the sensor can uh, be driven or can be read in a few different ways. Uh, there's a two wire method and a three wire, with three wire method and a four wire method, but I am going to be using the four wire method, which essentially means you put some resistors across these two terminals. I'm currently using uh, two, uh, I forget what the resistance is, but the manual will tell you what your resistance is to use. So this allows me to read the oscilloscope uh, to show the different pressure changes. And you can see just by me squeezing this tube, you can see the pressure bouncing. So it's a really fast response time. And even if I just flick it, you can see that it can measure really quickly with a pretty high uh, resolution. But uh, I just have the positive and negative leads of the oscilloscope across the bottom two terminals. And uh, if we look at the oscilloscope here, focus please, thank you. If we go to ground, you can see that the zero voltage is all the way down there on the second line down from the center. And this is what the voltage is currently at. And with one volt for division, that means we're at one, two, three, four and a half-ish volts. And since we're close to that three inches of water column, it seems about right because right now the resistors are uh, calibrated to output roughly one to five volts. So four and a half volts is about where we should be. Um, so I'm going to test all of these units that I'm selling. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including the one that's hooked up right now. And I'm gonna hook up or I'm gonna test all of these the exact same way. So if you have any questions, just message me. Thank you.